Ok, let's play in Cossacks the Napoleonic Wars tutorial. You are in a real training camp, where you will go undergo uh, training to master the basic skills of uh, army control. Your first objective is to report your arrival to the garrison commander. Assigned to your command are the barracks and the recruits near it. At the missing number of troops, 120 are required to form an infantry unit and pressing on the soldier image uh, in the left upper corner of the screen, arrange the a formation. Alright, so let's go for the barracks. Ok, we see it and let's recruit some uh, grenadiers. We want to go up to 120 and with 120 we will be able to make a new formation. Ok. And we have the unit. Now you can create a troop of grenadiers. Nice, that was what we have done. Click on the troops. Ok. Uh, congratulations, object accomplished. To, the, to continue the tutorial, press the button next. Ok, I guess I, I have found that. For effective command over squad maneuvering, you must know about the fatigue param parameter. The higher the fatigue indicator, the farther a squad can go without tapping into its morale. If the squad is completely exhausted, it moves at the expense of morale. Uh, make the squad more uh, constantly, it gets completely tired. Ok. So we want to make them completely tired, I guess. That's our goal. So let's go. Ok. And to fight this, we normally use the uh, column in which we may uh, use the road. It would be the middle one uh, w when we have the ability to, to change it. And uh, when you are out of uh, strength, when you have zero of fatigue bar, you also move uh, much slower. So it's really important to keep your uh, this bar okay. Your squad is completely exhausted and when it moves it will drain its morale. I repeat uh, your action uh, delivering the squad into the settlement. Make sure they march in the column formation by pressing or uh, the square formation or D. Okay. In column formation the squad can move along the road. When moving along the road the squad will not fatigue. Exactly. That's what we want. They are even resting when they are moving in a column on the road, and that's also important. Okay, and why is it that important? Because when you have low morale, your units tend to uh, disintegrate on itself, basically. When anything shots them, anything bites them, there are, they want to disintegrate right away. So it's really important to keep high morale in your units. Because otherwise uh, even a full unit can run away with more low morale. Okay. We are we want to go on to the next one. Okay. Okay. Your objective is to lure the enemy squad into a fight. Uh, to do this, let your squad come as close as possible to the enemy and press the button uh, depicting the rifle in the squad interface or press T. Put the advancing enemy troop to fight. Ok. So let's go. Okay. A formation of troops within, without an uh, officer has a low level of morale 
and can be easily routed. The formation of troops with an officer has higher morale and is harder for the enemy to root. Okay. Let's go in. I usually I wouldn't recommend uh, to shoot uh, in the green circle. I would wait for the yellow one. The shot is much stronger then and obviously it's beneficial to go as close as it's possible to the enemy because the closer the enemy is the stronger the shot will be that's why we want to wait as long as we can and when you uh, fire they tend to go much closer on their shot so when you fire you have to run away right right away otherwise they will come close right to your face and they will just destroy your unit with one uh, volley okay let's jump into the next one your squad is in a tough situation and will be unable to reload their musket before the enemy cavalry arrives the only way out for you is to attack them in melee. To do that, left mouse click on the icon depicting the bayonet in your squad menu or press R. As you see here, it will go red and that means that the bayonet attack is active basically. And right now they will attack the near uh, the closest enemy. I guess it's the basic the basic unit of British, and with ten attack, it's really really good. It's much better than National Guard of French, French National Guard. Okay, and I would say that the melee fight is really, really important. And I love good fighting units in melee combat because uh, you really, really quite, uh, you really uh, fight a lot in melee in this game. You are in a tough situation, as the enemy forces uh, are superior to yours. Your squad is in the stand ground mode, uh, and this provides a great advantage in defense. In order uh, to win, let the enemy get close as possible and fire. Okay, so basically in this uh, stand ground uh, position, we will receive plus 40 uh, defense, and the musket shoots. Uh, when it's right in your face, shoots for 100. So we will receive maximum 60 damage. And that's obviously great. Okay, let's sit and wait for them. We're not yet in this uh, defensive mode. Okay, we received the defensive mode. It's even 42 uh, defense. It depends uh, on the unit uh, experience, in my opinion. Because I saw the same unit with 40 and with 42, so I guess it's it has to be about the, it has to be about the experience. As I as Highlanders, our muskets our aren't dealing 100 damage, but 130. As you have seen, they were in the yellow circle, that's why their shot wasn't as bad for us as it could be. And the basic unit sucks, basically, that's what happened. And 130 damage does the, the job. And what they should have done uh, would be to go with one unit, 
right into our... You know what? They should have stayed with one unit, make them in defensive mode, and use the other unit to come closer, shoot, come closer, shoot, or go right into our face with one unit, or flank us, because in this... When we move, it, it disappears, the defensive bonus disappears right away. So if you have two units, just stand ground with one and go around with the second one. And they will have to move. Otherwise you will just go into their side and you will win eventually. Okay, let's go into the next one. You will uh, be able to use that quite often in the real battles, so that's really important to know that the forest uh, gives you cover. The forest is excellent, excellent uh, cover from bullets. Wait until the enemy squad fires and give a salvo in response. Okay, uh, let's see. So now we will wait for their shot in the woods. And they will just step out of the woods and shoot back. Okay, and let's go. Because we don't want to miss our shots on woods as well. And we'll shoot in a second. And right now... Okay. I guess we'll talk about this later, but here we have the experience count. It's basically how much you need to have we killed with this unit. Uh, and uh, with higher experience you just get uh, higher uh, melee damage. And it's really, really important. Also, you get a bigger morale bar. So it's harder to root your uh, squad. And that's amazing, to have high morale and big uh, melee damage. Basically, they can fight until they have 30 men in one unit. From 120 to 30 they will go. And that's amazing. And they just hit so hard when they are exped. They are so awesome. Okay, let's go. In order to increase the squad's morale, Kill enemy soldiers. It will give us XP and it gives us higher morale, morale bar and that's what we want to do. Okay, we fight against these units and we won't shoot uh, against policemen because we want to have that shot for national guards. So we will just go on bayonets against the policemen and then we will go with the shot on uh, national guard. All right. Oh, it was oh, it was painful. Oh, it was so so painful. There, really, it's not nice. I guess we may. Okay, we should have to shoot right now. We have to shoot. We have to shoot. We have to shoot. We have to shoot. Oh, oh, it worked. Oh my god. I don't know if we shouldn't just go for two shots, in this. It shouldn't have worked, obviously, because uh, if we would shoot, they should advance at us with this unit and shoot us right in the face because we don't have anything to defend with. But I guess in this battle we should have shot and they would have... they would just stay there. I guess we did it as you would have done in a normal battle and that's better, obviously. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, I upload such uh, videos daily and I would ask you for thumbs up and even maybe for a subscription. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.